Thousands of services with hundreds of trains operate on Sydney's rail network every day. And there's one thing that the public doesn't often get to see, which is how the trains are maintained. And in today's video, we take an exclusive look at Flemington Maintenance Centre, including a full tour, including how trains are maintained, upgraded, and also cleaned. Also featured in this video are various heritage sets, such as carriages from W3, F1, and S28. There will also be some special sets being featured in this video, such as a special 4-car case set that was being stored out the back of one of the workshops, and as well, the former ATP Test Y set, set Y2, being stored out the back of Flemington Maintenance Centre, which I was able to get a closer look at. This video was originally filmed back in August of 2023, and I've decided to re-edit it and put it out as a new video, as there's some more footage that I'd like to include, so I hope you will enjoy the video. We'll first be starting off with taking a look at XG set, set T108, which was receiving one of the earlier stages of the Tangara technology upgrade. This included some new ATP systems and as well minor modifications to the rest of the train. It's worth noting that this was one of the earlier stages of the upgrade, meaning it was not receiving the new PID screens, destination screens, announcements, or getting its new orange livery, as this wasn't really a thing back then, and it was primarily upgrades to parts of the train, including internal ATP systems. Despite the upgrades being minor, it gives us a rare opportunity to take a look at many things you wouldn't normally see on a Tangara when in service, including cabs, or even internal stuff such as how the doors are fitted in, what's underneath seats, and so much more. If you'd like a more detailed analysis on the Tangara technology upgrade, I highly suggest checking out my video linked on the top right of the screen on all you need to know about the new Tangara technology upgrade. Going back a few photos, you can see the original Tangara cab, and this is basically what they came with when they were originally built, and is no longer what they are like today. The only reason this cab wasn't being upgraded at the time is because Tangara trains are being made permanently as eight car trains, meaning that they can't run public passenger services as four car trains anymore. Although it does happen quite often, and for some reason I've seen it many times, where you'll see an empty four-car Tangara usually being transferred between Mortdale and Flemington Maintenance Centres, as seen in these videos here. An easy way to tell if a Tangara has been upgraded is that you'll notice a new non-ATP sticker on the front panel of the middle of the train where the two four-car sets couple to each other. These cabs are primarily for guards only, hence why there's no need to focus on upgrading the driver controls. It gives you a rare opportunity to take a look at the old original mint condition cab. As seen here, this is a rough idea of what it looks like to the present day. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get any photos of the cab, however, basically wires were hanging everywhere and there were a lot of workers around, so it wasn't too appropriate to be taking photos. However, this is basically what the finished result is of after the cab has been upgraded. I'll leave you all with some pictures that I took of the interior and exterior of the train. We'll now be heading over to check out the Heritage trains, and whilst I was on my way over, I was able to grab some great photos of some V and K sets. And the surprising thing is, the trains in these photos are likely either scrapped or retired by now. Now let's check out Historic Red Set F1. We'll be taking a look at the cab, a bit of the interior, and as well part of the exterior, to take a look as well at bogies and its general paint job, which I must say is very impressive. One interesting and quite funny thing is, is that you're basically using what is kind of known as a kitchen chair, to be honest, as the driver's seat. I've noticed that as well many times when riding on F1 for heritage tours, and I've always found it quite interesting how those were the original driver's seats. Now it's time to climb up and take a look inside the cab and the rest of the train. Uh, two motors originally. Uh, 
Over here are the carriages from W3, which is a yet-to-enter-service heritage train. The power cars were detached on the day of filming this as they were getting some roof work done. The carriages are quite unique as they both feature separate liveries, and this maroon carriage as you can see here is apparently the first ever double-decker carriage. Just one year after recording this, W3 was towed by a K-set to Central Station for the Transport Heritage Expo, and I was able to take a detailed look at the interior of W3. We're now heading over to just outside the shed where a 4-car K-set, set K65, was being stored. I was able to take a look through all the 4 carriages and also able to take a detailed look at the cab. Since there was no platform specially provided for us, we had to climb up into the cab and take a look at the driver's controls as well as taking a look at the interior of the train. We're now heading over to the other area of Flemington Maintenance Centre, which is where trains are usually stabled during the day, then heading back out to service in the afternoon. We'll be walking alongside a few trains and we'll be heading in to take a quick look at the shed where a lot of the train's wheels are replaced. It's a rare opportunity to see the bogies of trains up close, as well as sometimes trains lifted up without wheels.
this is a very quick look with this single image inside of the shed where the wheels of trains get replaced. As you can see, just in front of us here is an old set of bogies for this V-set carriage. And if you have a closer look, you can see the newer set of bogies that have just been installed. And to wrap up the video, we'll take a very quick look at the Heritage Set S28. As you can see, this is a very quick look at what it looks like inside of the cab. It's basically identical to what you can see with the K-Set cabs, obviously with the windows instead being slightly angled. And as well, this is a very quick look at the interior. And that's all for this video. I hope you all enjoyed a little look at this experience. I sure did myself, and I'd like to thank the staff at Flemington Maintenance Centre for having me. If you enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing to the channel to help us reach 10,000 subscribers by the end of December. It would be very much appreciated, as we're only 300 away from 10,000. I hope you all enjoyed the video, and I'll see you all next time.